What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, FB Aftermath, aka to Rod Beckham. I have been thinking about, you know, ways to uh, communicate things a lot better with you guys. And I want to take the time to just really just have straight to the point videos where I'm just, you know, answering questions for anybody. Um, and one thing that I've been asked a lot is how am I doing on cutting and what my cutting process is and the mistakes that are people are pretty much making when it comes to cutting that I've experienced myself. Now, the main thing that I've had to put aside when it comes to cutting is my strength, the, the ego that comes with strength. When, you, when, you're, when you're known for strength training and building strength and, and continually lifting heavy weights all the time, that's something that you just mentally want to do you're just mentally ready for that you mentally expect that every time you step in the gym and it's something that I've done over the years it's something once again it's something that I'm known for so I myself it's hard for me to gain those goals that I have when it comes to losing weight because I go in the gym and I don't do the correct exercises needed for me to progress how I should be when it comes to uh, losing weight now there are times where, you know, you can have a session that could focus on a little bit of strength training just to maintain as much as possible during your routine, your exercises, your workouts, but that it should not be the main component when it comes to getting to your goals. So my main thing for everybody is, from personal experience, is to literally go in the gym you know, you already know the rep schemes. Usually, when it when it comes to cutting, the rep schemes go from you know 10 to 15 reps um, and beyond. A little bit more, excuse me, sorry. A little bit more endurance. A little bit more, you know, just it's, it's straight to the point exercises, high intensity training, pretty much. Um, supersets, you know, things that don't involve a lot of weight. Something that you can pretty much you you have to put your mind aside. You have to put that mentality aside in order to progress as much as possible. Um, just a few days ago, I had a really, really good exercise. Just like, I mean, uh, <laughs> exercise. I had a really good workout. And I mean, when I say really good, I'm just talking sweating. Um, it motivated me to do cardio after you know um, my workout. Like one of those type of days where it's just back-to-back -back exercises, just you know, 45-second rest, which you want to keep when you're cutting. You want to keep your rest time very short. You want to keep that heart rate up. You want to keep those your your metabolism just start continually firing even after the workout. You want to push yourself to a different limit than you would push yourself when it comes to heavy weight training. And that's something that I, you know, I just kind of want to take the time and, and, and get across to you guys who are in the middle of cutting or trying to cut, you know, beginning cutting right now is that, yo, it's all good. We're going to get back to the point. We're breaking ourselves down to build ourselves back up. You know, we are, we're, we're getting rid of that excess fat, the stuff that we don't want on our body, the parts of our body that we seem to have pretty much let go of, you know, for me, it's more so of the waistline and stuff. Um, and we want to build it back up, you know, we want to get those abs back. And it's about, it's about trial and error, you know, uh, you know, build, uh, go down, lose the weight, you'll lose some strength. It's okay. That's normal. Build back up. Right, you can build up slower. You know, some people build up slower. Um, I'm not much of a bulker type of person. I'm a slow, slow bulk type of person. People think that I just all of a sudden got to 230, you know, something pounds. I'm actually like 220 right now. But people think that I, you know, majority of my life I've been 230, and well, at least after high, after college. Ever since after college, I struggled to get to not struggle, but I got up to 225. And then 225, 230 have been like my maintenance stage. And then um, COVID hit and I got up to 240. That's the heaviest I've ever been. And um, that took years of just development. That's years of development that got me to 230, 240. And that's just, and, and it's just normal. I cannot eat for days and still be at 230, you know? And it's, it's different. But once again, going back to the type of training you needed for cutting, I'm talking about. Once again, we need supersets. We're talking about 10 sets, you know, I mean 10 sets. We're talking about uh, sets of 10, uh, five sets of 10. You could superset. We're talking about high intensity cardio. What I like to do is um, for anything that deals with, sp I mean, sprinting. Sprinting is one of the main things. Sprinting will help you build lean mass in the process of cutting. And I think, I think a lot of people 
don't realize that sprinting is your best friend. All right, you're building explosive power. You're building all of this lean muscle because your muscles have to work in a different way. Walking on a treadmill or on incline for for incline of seven for three three point five whatever miles per hour is not going to help you build that hard muscular look like sprinting will do and, I, and I've been preaching this for a very long time you guys need to really get out there get on the field somewhere concrete or whatever get some shoes that'll help with the knees or whatever get out there do some 50 meter sprints some 20 meter sprints 100 meter sprints when I have clients they make great progress just by doing 10 100 meter sprints two times a week two times a week 10 100 meter sprints 45 second rest in between each one Get down there, you'll probably get down there at, at least in 20 seconds, you know, 20, 20 to 30 seconds, right? 20 to 30 seconds, you're down there, take your 45 second break, boom, again, right? 10 times, and you're done, simple as that. I think that's one of the main, th this one specific thing, I promise you, if you do it two times a week, it will drastically help you with your physique, with your look, with your performance, with your with your lung capacity, which will help with your metabolism, blowing up your metabolism. You'll burn more throughout the day and you'll continually burn more and still have a lean muscular build. And I want to put that in everyone's head amongst everything, amongst every type, type of cardio there is. Because sometimes HIIT training, we go into HIIT training and we kind of get bored with the movements and stuff, kettlebells and yeah, doing all that. Well, let me tell you what, just do something simple. Go to a field, do some sprints, 10, or do five down and backs, you know, 200 meters, you're good. I promise you, these simple things will help you with your cut. Uh, that is all I'm going to say for you guys today. I hope you enjoy videos like this where I'm just kind of just talk about a topic, get straight to the point, and uh, hope it helps you guys um, in the future. And let me know what your, I mean, what your progress has been, man. Comment, comment down below. You know, uh, tag me on Instagram at FB Aftermath. I want to see everybody's progress. So definitely would love to see that. Um, also, 40% off my protein. Use code Aftermath. Huge 40% off and 15% off Alpha Clothing. So definitely check that out. Um, also, catch me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash FB Aftermath TV. We'll be playing some Apex Legends Season 9. Hope you guys are ready. I'm giving out some Apex coins. So would love to see you guys come through. If you even have fitness questions, while I'm gaming, I will answer them there. So, that being said, peace out, much love, and uh, catch you guys on the next video.